Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a drugstore makeup routine. This is my routine I do when I go out and about. I already started off with my eyebrows. I used the Wet n Wild brow pencil. And now I'm just going in with some concealer, which is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow, it's just a liquid highlighter. I was smelling it because it smelled like I don't know, like like alcohol or something. It smelled weird. Next, we're gonna use the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation in the color 340. y'all but I do not like makeup on my lips like you will see wipe it off my lips throughout this whole video so I'm going to be taking the Colourpop concealer no filter concealer it's empty but I like the applicator so I'm going to use the applicator to apply my LA girl pro concealer <laughs> Put my highlighter where I want to brighten. I'm going to use my foundation brush to blend out the edges. Taking my e.l.f. setting spray, I'm going to spray my face before I blend it out. I do this because that's my business. Like so, like that. If you know Tabitha, then you know what I'm referring to. <laughs> I am done blending that out. I'm going to take a lighter concealer. This is the color pop um, in the color medium dark 34. And I just use that to brighten right up under. I don't put it everywhere because it's way too bright. So I just like to highlight. And as you can see, I wipe off my lips. No foundation hanging. Taking my handy dandy Sasha Buttercup. I've been using this for years now. I've been doing this same routine for years, y'all. When I say for years, for years, if you go back on my previous videos, my routine is it's pretty much the same. So I might go do some shopping. My Maybelline Fit Me powder in the color 330. And I use it as a face powder. I'm doing my nose, but I usually do my nose later, like after my eyes. I was on the phone, so like I was even really paying attention to the steps I was doing. But this is the color 360 in the Fit Me Press Powder. I'm taking the James Charles palette and using those two orange colors. Uh, you don't really have to use the Morphe palette. Um, you can use any more orange col colors if you have them. That's 
the color I used on my nose that I didn't show you guys because I wasn't paying attention. But that's 360 in the fitting. This is the Juvia's Place the Saharan Blush Palette in Volume 1. I've been using this forever too. I also like to put blush on my forehead as well. I feel like it adds warmth to the skin. So this is ColourPop Sweet's Highlighter in Dewdrop. Taking that darker orange shade I used, I'm going to apply it to the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take my e.l.f. setting spray and spray it on my face. I'm going to take a makeup sponge to pat it into the skin. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Powder Highlighter and this is the color Golden. And I'm just going to reapply to where I want to highlight. Y'all, it done been like a whole 20 minutes. <sighs> My freaking computer had too much storage on it, so. But I'm taking this NYX liner. What I was trying to say was, I didn't have enough storage, so I had to clean my computer of all that junk. I'm just taking a brown lip liner and I'm just lining my cupid's bow and just a little bit on my lips. And this is NYX Butter Gloss and Fortune Cookie. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.